Welcome, Cape Crusaders and Cape Crusettes. Uh, this is uh, Laser Gamer again coming at you with another uh, video game unboxing of a collector's edition. And da 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 da, voila! It is the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. Uh, the Ultimate Edition, and uh, it all uh, for the Xbox 360. And I and as you see on the side, I also have the strategy guide. I will be uh, unboxing uh, that one as well. So um, there it is, right there. That's the front of the box with the with the guide. And um, as I'm going to start, uh, as I do with most of my collector's edition unboxings and any unboxings I do, this may not be the most professional video at times. There may be some situation where things are jumbly here and there. So just bear with me. Um, but uh, here is the start of the unboxing of the collector's edition as I go over there. <clears throat> um, I got mine at GameStop. So depending which retailer you got it from, even Amazon, you'll have different pre-order stuff. So, uh, so just check with your local GameStop and stuff. Now, this, this edition is, I would say it's... This is a pretty hard edition to find. Um, USA has their collector's edition version, and I think the UK and Europe have another. They have their own collector's edition version, too, which is also pretty cool looking, too. So, um, best of luck finding this if you did not reserve this, because this is pretty hard to find. Um, check your local GameStop or Best Buy, but if you haven't reserved it, you can even check online, too, to see if maybe they have it. I think GameStop right now online, they don't have this one anymore. And actually, now that I think about it, eBay. I saw the other day on eBay, or I even think Amazon, the sellers were trying to sell these for already 200 something dollars, man. So that's just nuts. It's almost like The Last of Us all over again. So, uh, but yeah, so this is the start of it. I'm going to go ahead and show you the front of the box there. Side side and then the back of the box with all the addition all the stuff that it comes with now i'm going to go ahead and read off what this edition has so you see this edition comes with uh necessary evil super villains of dc comic dvd uh unfortunately the ps3 one it came on blu-ray but i i only think this one this one is the standard dvd so that's a disadvantage between the that's a big difference between this one and the PS3. Um, also, the PS3 comes with the Kill uh, Nightfall DLC, uh, I think, token or codes that uh, the 361 doesn't. So, wasn't happy about that either, but I'm going to try to get that uh, Nightfall code from some people I know and stuff. But, uh, um, so it comes with the nece Necessary Evil Supervillains of DC Comic DVD. Deluxe Batman Arkham Origin statue with LED backlighting. 80-page hardcover collector's art book. Wayne family photo. Glow-in-the-dark Gotham City map. Anarchy logo stencil. Batwing prototype schematic. Batman wanted poster. First appearance Batman skin and Deathstroke challenge pack. And uh, crime lab evidence. And the Black Mass Dozier. All that in the box. And from what I've read, too, because I haven't got into the game yet, uh, I heard it is going to be open world, but actually in a more expansive open world of Gotham City than Arkham City was, but Arkham City was a great game. In fact, I was playing that the other night. Just I had already finished the campaign a while back, but I was just finishing up on my side mission. So... There it is again. I'll show you the back. And without for, and here is the collector's guide, which I will open up to. And the collector's guide comes with uh, only in the limited edition a set of four exclusive lithographs that can be found inside the limited edition guide. That must be you must have for any collector, and it also comes with the dust jacket because it's a hardcover. So they have a dust jacket to protect it, which is pretty much what I'm showing here. Because if you were to take the jacket off, then it's a hardcover. It's it's a black hardcover like that one, right? Like that picture right there. 
So I'll be opening this up too. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start this unboxing um, as I'm very excited too. I actually went last night to my GameStop for the midnight release, but when I got home from staying up the night before playing Batman Arkham City, I was so tired that I passed out pretty early when I got back. I didn't even open this up last night. So I am doing this today, and here we go. I am starting to open up this bad boy. Just give me a second here. Oh wow, they really brought this in, didn't they? Let's get in there. Yep. All right, so. Voila, here comes the first part off. What I showed you, which was the covering of the box, and wow, there is the box again. Let's look at this again. Really cool looking details on the box. Nice to keep the box too. If you need to, just fold the box down and just take out the styrofoam and stuff. Wow, look at all this stuff, man. Oh, my Lord. I, I don't know what that means, but yeah, it means something. Uh, let's see here. All right, man, look at all this stuff. Wow. Very, very nice. All right, so let me put out all this stuff. Man, this is insane. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. <clears throat> I believe this is the uh, this is the glow in the dark map of Gotham City. A little hard to kind of see, but there it is. Then here is the uh, blueprint schematics of the Batwing. <clears throat> then here is the Batman wanted poster. This is the Black Mask Dojir, which I believe I'm just going to leave right there. You can It's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see Black Mask's face a little. It's, a, it's black on black, so... And then here's some other uh, collector's edition things, the evidence little bags. Here is the Necessary Evil Supervillains of DC Comics um, movie that you get. Oh, and it comes with the digital, uh, included with purchase, digital ultraviolet. So maybe the ultraviolet is in HD, which would be pretty cool. And voila, here is the game. The game, the game. And I'll be opening up the game in a minute. In, ter in terms of the necessary evil supervillains, I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you like that because I'm not going to open it up right now. Um, I pretty much kind of know what it is. But the game I will get into. And then here is a... Let's see what we got here.
And here, oh wow. Oh, wow. And here's the Batman Arkham Origins uh, art book that they are talking about. Let's get a picture of Batman.